Let me state that when the Honorable, Honorable Ambrose Derry, the former Interior Minister, sought to counter our press conference by stating that the uh, recruits had gone through the procedure, I mean, he wasn't being truthful because at the time it was evident that no advertisements had been made as is required uh, by the service regulations of all the security agencies, including the armed forces. So, so that point was well made. Fast forward to 2024, how many years is it now? We're talking about 2019. So if you argue that you are clearing a backlog, let me tell you something. When an advert is made for recruitment, age is very important. And so if it's the argument that they are clearing a backlog, what do you think would be the ages of those who applied in 2019? They'll be disqualified by now. You see, because if you exceed 25, I mean, it's over for you. You can't be recruited into the police or, or, the, or any of the security services of our country. Medical conditions must Your medical change. conditions must have changed. So that, that, that argument is wholly untenable. And so, like the leader said, they, this is an opportunity for them to recruit their party tax and hooligans into the security services. And, 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 and the, the, the aim is to deploy those tax who will now be masked as police officers, immigration officers, and soldiers to help them rig the 2024 elections. And that is what the leader hinted, that we shall guard against any attempt hmm, to rig the elections with those they are attempting to recruit. In any case, we're saying that the process must be halted now and adverts made so that Ghanaians who are qualified, right, can be recruited on the basis of merit and not nepotism and partisan considerations.